There we go. Ooh, the shaman, whoa. though. Free call that. Yeah, we have Polo on the Restoration Shaman. He's playing Spirit Link. I think they're just going to be trying to run down Whoopi. Whoopi is an exceptional Mistweaver Monk, though. He's going to be... I feel like he's going to do a really good job kiting in this matchup, but so far getting chopped up very, very easily. Smexing all over him with the Storm Bolt. Thugonomics as well. Rosita Jones and Omnivore are going to have to do a good job counter-pressuring. Yeah, Whoopi's also running that Tank Trinket, so that Absorb early on going to be forced along with Fortifying Brew. It's up to the Super Rejects to kill Whoopi before Colo's mana runs out playing the Spirit Link talent. So far, Colo dealing with the pressure quite effectively using Healing Tide Totem. That's a quick pick-me-up for his whole team. But they are stacked for triple stuns of the team of four fun. And with sweeping strikes, potentially Omnivore could get a triple kill later into the game. Earthen Shield already forced from Colo. Smexen falling behind. Tugganomic is down to half, but they're just trying to stay on target going after Whoopi. Yeah, nice ring of peace there by Whoopi. He managed to, manages to escape. And one of the problems is that Smexen and Thugganomics are chasing down Whoopi. Colo's going to have to be on top of them to refresh that Spirit Link to keep himself alive. So far, Rosita Jones and Omnivore doing a good job getting pressure. There's a full fear on Nicolo. Whoopi managing to kite quite well in this matchup so far, just using the pillar the best he can. Smexen overextending a little bit, got into the Storm Bolt now, making a little bit of pressure, but Cole is there to keep him alive. And Omnivore activating sweeping strikes. His attacks now hit multiple players standing next to each other, going for Blade Storm. Cole is going to have a rough time healing through this triple spread pressure from Omnivore. Now caught into a stun, dipping dangerously low. His team is split up. Will Cole be able to get back to his team in time? Catches a quick riptide, trying to make his way over. And just to reconnect that spear. Like Whoopi in the meantime, getting bursted down. He's already burned half of his mana. They're constantly on top of him. And at this point, Super Rejects are getting ahead. Yeah, Cole getting lower and lower, though. Omnivore, Rosita Jones also taking a lot of pressure. Good split damage coming in from Super Rejects right now. Everyone's rotting down. How is Whoopi going to respond? He's barely keeping himself alive, activating the life cocoon in a desperate situation. Polo activates the Spirit Link. Everyone from Super Rejects is going to be very tanky. They shred through the life cocoon. Whoopi trinkets out. Darkness gets dropped. Beautiful fear coming in from Smexen to keep them all locked in place. Hex now on to Whoopi. Just can't heal himself up. Too much pressure from Smexen and Thugonomics. Does two torpedo away, but ultimately Thugonomics takes him down. Nice adaptation from Super Rejects with the Resto Shaman. Seems to be very tanky in this that matchup. Was, that was fun to watch. Be true, actually. I think that's possible. yard port. Well, we know where the port's most likely going to go down here, so keep your eye on Whoopi. He is the reason that they have locked in this map. Will it be enough for him? Instantly, Ring of Peace going to be set down. Yeah, knocks Polo off the edge. That was nicely done, but he's gotten to the stun. A lot of pressure. Tank Trinket already going to be activating. You can see Smexen putting on a lot of pressure very early on. Now Rosita Jones getting rotted down on Omnivore as well. But what I want to see Super Rejects do is if Whoopi jumps off, just go on Rosita Jones. Go on Omnivore. Continue your pressure. Make the Mistweaver fall behind even more. Yeah, definitely switching targets is quite effective. Whoopi using Way of the Crane. That's going to cost a lot of his mana, but he needs the extra damage to push Colo over with the Spirit Link talent. Everybody stunned up by Whoopi. Unfortunately, it was DR'd, so a bit of a mistake there. Now they can freely go after the Mistweaver. They've got him locked down in a stun. Smex and Charging over, jumping into battle stance. Whoopi getting into position to use that portal. Baits them as far away as possible. But Cole is right on top of his port. Winshears his heel. Goes for a hex. Gets stopped, though, by Whoopi. Whoopi now du ducking downstairs again, but Thug and just waited there. Smex and chased him down. Whoopi on the run, using the map quite effectively, but Thug and will reconnect. Looks like Smexen is the one that's having a hard time though with Blade's Edge. Yeah, Whoopi didn't get a chance to relay his port. Polo interrupted him. Whoopi panicked. He jumped down once again. So we have to look for Whoopi to drop his port up top if he wants to use that Z access to his advantage. Now it caught into the stun. A lot of pressure out. Omnivore rotting down as well. Thugonomics taking some pressure. Full having to top him off. Whoopi jumps down. Still didn't relay the port. So if they can get on top of him, it's going to be difficult for him to get away. I mean, not even just Whoopi. Look at his entire team at this point. Anybody could just get swapped to and bonked and they're dead. Like, it, this is so difficult for Whoopi. If he pulls this off, he's actually a legend. I feel like he's so disadvantaged in this specific setup. He gets interrupted on a heal. He's going to put him even more behind. He gets incapacitated at low health. As Smexing can't get in line of sight. He does. He charges. Ooh. Whoopi portals to charge instantly. Gets out of line of sight, but Thugonomics in hot pursuit. Smexen going to be leaping right back on top of him. G Torpedo, will Whoopi be able to get away? I don't even know if it matters. His mana is just so far behind. He's maybe got one more way of current. Nice. Nice ring of peace, knocking off the enemy team and allowing Whoopi to recover. But Colo's had good positioning, always on top of Whoopi. If his team gets kited, Colo's is there to interrupt. Omni's dipping low. Everybody's dipping low. And at this point, Super Rejects can just walk away with this. Yeah, Whoopi really struggling in this situation. It's so difficult. Thugonomics might be able to take him down with this spell eruption ultimately does. Polo manages to keep his team alive. This is so difficult for Whoopi. Played that really, really beautifully, really, really well, but one of the things about Colo is he plays so many different healers, yes, I feel like he yes. knows how to make the other healers' life, uh, you know, basically a living hell. Uh, this is a big composition change, and it's not just for fun. They're going to try to keep their tournament dreams alive. Will it be enough? 
Yep, it looks like Rosita Jones, Omnivore, they're going to be charging to center field. Smexen looking for a full fear immediately on Whoopi. Rosita Jones seems to be the target of choice. Colo pushing in as well. He wants to get aggressive with his team using the Spirit Link talent once again. I'm not sure Whoopi. I think he's just playing the regular Earth Shield in this matchup. So a little bit of talent differences between Colo and Whoopi. All right, Tuganomics setting a swap going over onto Whoopi as Smexen is just chopping up both Rosita and Omnivore trying to maximize that sweeping strikes. Colo is moving in. It looks like they're just going to go all in on Whoopi again, even on the Shaman. And Rosita trying to reverse the pressure now onto Colo. This could easily be a healer race. Yeah, it could, but I think Colo comes out ahead with that Spirit Link talent and that Astral Shift. He just needs to make sure and keep Spirit Link on all three members. But he's been doing a great job of that so far. Stormbolt on Thugonomics, taking a little bit of pressure. Omnivore getting rotted down. That's the problem for Whoopi. Anytime he runs away, Team 100 Warrior just has so much pressure. They're rotting down everyone with their damage. But so far, actually, Forefront has a lot of pressure on the Super Rejects. Yeah, Whoopi staying ahead on mana. I don't think he is running the Spirit Link talent, so he's not going to be burning all that mana throughout this game. He's trying to duck for cover behind the pillar. That tank trinket procking a huge absorb. Full fear landed on the entire team with no trinket. This is an opportunity, but Omnivore gets disarmed at low health. He can't activate Die by the Sword while disarmed was forced to trinket to activate that defensive to stay in the fight. Now he is a huge open target for Super Rejects. Yeah, Stormbolt on Colo. He could be in a little trouble as well. Spexen and Thugonomics not there to support Woofy tanking through this damage. Colo getting lower and lower. He needs to activate that Spear Link onto all three members. I think he manages to find it there. Disarm onto Spexen now to slow him down. No trinket available to get out of that. Woofy running for his life. But so far, Omnivore and Rosita Jones have been doing a great job to support him. Yeah, I mean, Colo is burning down what is left of his mana if Whoopi can stay in this, but with the full fear and no tremor from Rosita, I guess he was out of range. He drops it a couple seconds too late, but it manages to sneak in a Hex with a Stormbolt on Smexen. Good cross crowd control by for fun. If there was a game that they could win, this is definitely it. Yeah, Trinket Prox on Smexen. Still has to die by the sword, but he's low. Can't reconnect to Whoopi. Thugonov is trying to create some pressure. Smexen just has to turn his attention to Rosita Jones and Omnivore. Needs to make sure he continues his damage continues to rot everyone down now full stun over onto Whoopi can't get the heals out that he needs Colo's mana not looking great like you said Whoopi has a huge advantage in that regard yeah no, it's the spirit link choice I don't think Colo should actually be playing spirit link in the shaman mirror if the other shaman isn't running it you're just going to lose on mana they're not really getting much aggression out of it Whoopi is maximizing usage of that ghost wolf to get boosted speed and kite his opponents as well as Rosita he just moves around uh -oh. and, and supports Omnivore we see Thugonomics bursting Whoopi low Omnivore gets disarmed he's dipping dangerously low will he go down drops the triple intimidating shout to give time for Whoopi to get out of the stun and start re-stabilizing him. In the meantime, Whoopi's still just getting gunned down by Thugonomics. He's just sticking to that target. Omnivore and Rosita, though, both connecting onto Colo, and he doesn't have much left to work with. Doesn't have basically anything except that Astral Shift, which he uses, activates that, trying to make a final push here on Whoopi. Whoopi activates his Astral Shift. Both Shaman's going to be taking reduced damage because of that. Whoopi has to play a little bit of catch-up here. Still has the Spirit Link Totem if he needs it to equalize everyone's HP on his team. But Colo is the one that seems to be in trouble as his mana is running out. Yeah, I mean, Whoopi's still got Spirit Link Totem. That's a huge cooldown he can trade out at any point in this game. Colo doesn't have that same luxury. Colo getting Richard. Rosita looking for a Hex. These Hexes from Rosita could just close the game out as well. He's looking for another one. Trying to fake cast potential Grounding Totem. Gets a full Hex. Omnivore, though, has to leap away. He's just under too much pressure. That's unfortunate. Could not get any pressure out with that. But Spirit Link reapplied. Colo's entire team is dipping low. He's got Healing Tide in his back pocket to pick his team back up. That should be enough. And now suddenly, for fun, they're on the back foot. Yeah, Whoopi gets uh, in imprisoned in there on his ascendance. This is his major healing cooldown. He gets feared up as well. They're trying to shut it down. Nice wind shear coming in from Colo. Whoopi, unfortunately, still gets a lot of healing out. The rejects did a good job, but it just doesn't matter. The Riptide healing so strong from Whoopi. Everyone's full HP as he gets bursted down once again. He has the Trinket. He has the Spear Link, so he's still relatively safe. Colo running on fumes at this point for mana. Activates Spear Link once again. I don't know how many more of those he really has left in this game, though. Ooh, Omnivore caught into a Stormbolt at dangerously low health. Nice winter from Colo into a potential Hex, but there is Dispel potential. Rosita gets a Hex instead. Overlapped with the Fear. This is a big crowd control mistake by For Fun. If they had chained those together, they could have forced way more cooldowns. That's a bit unfortunate. Now Whoopi stunned and Smexen is on target as well. They land a triple cap, but a triple cap in reverse. Whoopi dipping low. Tank trick at proc. He's going to survive. And now the entire team of Super Rejects are rotting down. Colo's only got maybe a, another minute or two left in the tank of this game. Will he be able to handle it. I'm not sure. Colo running out of time, running out of mana. Specs and low. Thugonomics low. Everyone's low. They turn their attention over on Omnivore trying to get some counter pressure. Ascendance bought by Colo. 
using that last little bit of mana to top his team off. We'll be caught into the Storm Bolt. Still has a Spirit Link, though. And I feel like Super Rejects, they were looking for an all-in strategy, but didn't calculate for this tank trinket of Whoopi, which is just keeping him alive for such an extended period of time. All right, Ascendance is now out of the way. Colo's got nothing left. If they don't get a kill on for fun within the next minute, I think that Colo's entire team is about to die simultaneously. And Whoopi, he's dangerously low, but hanging out. Rosita's got defenses. He's going to trade. They need to get aggressive. They need to just cleave all three targets and finish the job. Thugnomics has got one more opportunity. He's going to pop Metamorphosis, try and lead the charge for his team, gunning down Whoopi once again. Double fear from Smex, and he leaps in. They need a kill. They need it here and now. Will they find it? No, the tank trinket shield is protecting Whoopi and keeping him going. Full hex secured from Rosita. That's going to put Colo behind, deciding not to trick it. Wants to trick it out of a stun. I guess he's going to find that crowd control more threat. Whoa, 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 is falling behind. Omnivore is forced to leap away. Super Rejects are staying in this despite running on fumes. Yeah, Omnivore almost went down there. Was in the execute range. Whoopi's still getting lower and lower. What's happening to his HP? Gets a Spearling totem down to equalize his team's HP, but they kill that off quickly. Whoopi trying to kite away. Stormbolt on Spexit now. Thugonomus getting low as well. Cole has to play catch him. He's been able to stabilize his team for so long. It's such a little amount of mana. Triple Chaos Nova coming in from Thugonomus onto the entire team of For Fun. Luffy has to play catch up here. He's on 50%. Everyone on his team's on 50% right now. Cole's doing an all right job, but now completely tapped on mana. This has been an absolute SM orc fest this entire game. Everybody's been in trouble, and I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to keep it up. Smexon down below half. Thugonomus Thug also down below half. Cola with Healing Tide in 10 more seconds. Can he buy enough time to make it to that point? I'm not entirely sure with Dampening starting to ramp up. Whoopi's just been kiting and Ghost Wolf desperately trying to stay away from Smexen. Colo, though, is getting connected by Omnivore. Smexen's trying to peel him off. Nice Storm Bolt, no Trinket. What's Whoopi going to do? Drops the Healing Tide right before he got stunned. If that stun was one second faster, Omnivore might just be dead right now. Colo now, on the other hand, is falling even more behind and somehow still going despite having zero mana. Yeah, Whoopi's Ascendance came back up as well, increasing his healing. Double Fear coming up from Smexen. No one's going to be able to tremor out of that. Omnivore all alone in this situation. Doesn't have the die by the sword for another 30 seconds. He leaps away. Will have some Whoopi into the cap sun. Nice CC from Polo, and that's going to close out this game. Close out this series. Very nicely done by the Super Rejects. Very well played by For Fun as well. It was really nice to see them kind of come up versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth.